Hi everybody and welcome back to Pretty Black. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to go ahead and click that subscription button as well as hit the notification button so you can receive notifications when I upload new videos like this one. So really quick today, I wanted to do a quick unboxing and talk a little bit about the item I purchased. Don't worry guys, I have already Lysol down the box. Here is my purchase. I got a new MacBook Pro. So excited. Woo! It's a pretty big one. Uh, number one, really quick. So I did have a nice upgraded um, computer. Here's my old one. I can show you guys. So this is my MacBook Air. When I purchased this, I didn't plan on making YouTube videos. So I had to just kind of deal with what I had, but I was running into a lot of problems because you guys know, um, or you may know that I do other videos and things and other projects um, for my church and kind of freelancing as well. And so I needed more storage and the external hard drive thing was not cutting it. So I had to get a new MacBook Pro. So, there was nothing completely wrong with my MacBook Air. I just simply needed more storage space and it just really wasn't cutting it, you guys. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Let's get this show on the road. I feel like it should be making like a Here it is guys, just loading up with this beautiful screen. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can actually see me. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Hey Siri, hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Okay, so we're all done with Siri. I don't know about you guys, but I don't I don't know if I like to share my audio recordings. So we're gonna press not now. It's kind of creepy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys really quick how to customize. We're gonna go ahead and use Canva for this. And if you have a Canva account, which I do, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. I'm gonna use my Google account. And also I got all of this information from her name is JK Chris. I'll go ahead and put her information in the description box as long as well as a little picture pop-up. Um, then you're also gonna go to Google, find out the screen size of a MacBook Pro. So we go ahead and got the size of the Mac size of a 13-inch MacBook Pro Pixel, which is 2560 by 1600. So it's pretty easy. We're gonna create a design. We're gonna have custom dimensions and we're just gonna go ahead and enter those dimensions, exactly what they say, which is 2560 by 1600. And boom, now you have your screen and you can actually just use whatever you want. So I'm gonna continue to work on this. You guys kinda get the picture. So, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna add this, get it together and come back. So as you can see here, I have the picture I created on my desktop. Go ahead and right click it and simply just click set desktop picture. Boom, <laughs> there it is. I am definitely a person of just simplicity. So I simply just picked some pink background that I liked and put the words pretty black ink, the name of my YouTube channel and also my business. And I simply love it. You guys, I'm not a person that likes a lot of clutter and like different pictures, but to each his own. I really love this background. It's definitely very simple, just like me. 
Now that we have already set up our desktop picture, we're gonna go ahead and customize our folders. Now I see I was here like looking for pink folders and I just had to change it. Pink on pink is not, what's up you guys? <laughs> so I chose black. So I'm just kind of scrolling through what I'm looking for. And again, I chose something really simple. I just went with a nice clean and simple black folder for my folder settings. So you wanna go ahead and create a folder on your desktop and then simply go ahead and just name it what you want. So of course I'm gonna name my folder the pretty committee file. <laughs> go ahead and right click it and click on get info. The screen will pop up and you'll see two folders. You're going to edit the top folder. Drag the folder you're looking for from Google and put it right over the top folder and it should turn it black. It's just that simple, guys. Now back to our regular schedule programming. <laughs> Here is my MacBook Air, and you guys just see me customize and start and unbox my MacBook Pro. The size is pretty much the same. So I do love, first thing I'm gonna get my notes here, I do love the first thing that the MacBook Air does come inside the rose gold, the MacBook Pro does not. The main problem was I actually did not have enough storage space on this computer. So the first thing they both work on Mac um Mac OS Catalina version is a 10.15.6. This MacBook Air is a 2019. It was purchased a year ago. It does have a 1.66 gigahertz um, core Intel processor i5. The new version um, that I have is a MacBook Pro, which is two gigahertz. With the memory for my MacBook Air is an eight gigabyte. Then I hopped up to a 16 gigabyte, which was really important for me. And doing um, multiple things on the computer, doing graphics, all of that. My main issue was is I really wanted to be able to, um, I have all of my software that I use for YouTube, and just my graphics in general again for my freelance for my church I want to make sure that I have all the programs so I went ahead and got the 16 gigabyte now the top thing that I'm so happy about is my hard drive storage in my MacBook Pro is a one terabyte I was not getting anything less than a one terabyte so if you're looking at apple.com this is definitely the highest priced macbook pro which is $18.99 one of the biggest difference that i'm getting now with the macbook pro is the touch bar which i right now i'm like in love with you can actually see on the touch bar things that are open it has your um volume up or down it has siri the brightness of the screen all in all i didn't have a lot of problems with my macbook air i just wish i would have known that i was gonna actually have a youtube channel because then if i would have known that I would have definitely got in a MacBook Pro in the beginning. I will be honest, you guys, this was the best bang for my buck. And yes, the upgrade of a one terabyte storage was amazing for anyway, me. Anyway, if I gave you some good information on these MacBook products, please give this video a big thumbs up. And again, don't forget if this was your first time here, please don't hesitate. Click that subscription button and go ahead while you're at it, click the notification bell so you can receive notifications when I upload new videos like this. That being said, I'm getting ready to delete this entire MacBook Air and send it back to Apple. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.